The Gucci Ginza Gallery is a newly opened art space on the seventh floor of Gucci Ginza, the flagship store of the global luxury brand Gucci in Ginza, Tokyo. Yuzuru Hanyu, who won the figure skating at Saatchi in 2014 and Pyeongchang in 2018, was the opening figure skater. The topic is a buzz. Beautiful and powerful Yuzuru Hanyu's solo ice show prologue will be delivered. Its name is Photo Exhibition Yuzuru Hanyu. A Journey Beyond Dreams featured by L. A dream collaboration where the world view of Mr. Hanyu and Gucci, which has never been imagined, collides head-on violently. When the event opened on June 28, enthusiastic fans who visited the event posted their impressions on social media one after another. Sports Paper Desk says, What I think about Mr. Hanyu's activities after graduating from the competition is that he always provides excitement that goes far beyond imagination. The photo of a man who has been fighting on the ice until now has a strong impact as he dances barefoot in the air. The Gucci costume that Mr. Hanyu is dressed in is truly reminiscent of freedom and dreams. In addition, Ginza since the opening will be decorated in the middle of the throat, it can be said that it is the best multiplication for both. In addition, I am impressed that Mr. Hanyu's how to choose a job is very exquisite at the aforementioned desk. The same applies to commercial appearances, but it is not just a big company or something like that. But it is impressive that both sides are win-win as a result through a brand with aspirations and spirit. This Gucci this time. Even so, I feel like I've opened a drawer for Mr. Hanyu that hasn't been opened yet, laughs. And he emphasizes that Mr. Hanyu's own path proves that the period of competitive activities that triggered these free activities and the turning professional was the correct answer. From our point of view, Mr. Hanyu is a person who would be a waste if he were to stick to one genre. I think my decision to turn professional was once again a wise decision. The number of people around the world who smiled just by touching Mr. Hanyu must have simply increased dramatically. From Gucci's point of view, it is self-evident that it was an exquisite collaboration, such as enabling marketing strategies to reach segments that could not be approached until now. The photo exhibition will be held at the Gucci Ginza Gallery until August 20th. It seems that a different wind will blow in Ginza this summer. Yuzuru is such a unique athlete that the transition to professionals not only did not reduce interest in him, but even increased him. Let's start with the fact that with his departure, Hanyu challenged the Japanese Federation, JSF, the International Skating Union, ISU, and the International Olympic Committee, IOC, which for the past few years have only made money on him without any support. In fact, he was tired of fighting the system alone, but at the same time he found the strength and motivation to bend his line further, just not from within. The fact that this is a challenge is confirmed by several facts. Firstly, Yuzuru announced the end of his amateur career not through the Japanese Federation, but through his sponsors, the ANA airline. Moreover, he forbade trusted editions of the Federation to attend this press conference. Secondly, the next day, Hanyu's agency Team Sirius posted a ban on the use of his new photos for the ISU and the Japanese Federation, which should prevent organizations from PR at the expense of Yuzuru. Now they are forced to use exclusively old photographs taken at competitions under their auspices. True, this does not prevent them from writing about Hanyu with the same enviable frequency as before. In addition, no one forbade reposting. Three weeks after the end of his sports career, Yuzuru opened his own YouTube channel, the very first video on which gained a million views in a day. And it was just an announcement that in a few days he will broadcast from training. About 100,000 viewers watched it live, and now the two-hour broadcast already has 4 million views. Journalists were allowed to practice. Hanyu then gave a general interview for 20 minutes, and then 5 minutes for each of the 25 media present. Interest in what he does is colossal. Now Yuzuru's YouTube channel has 807,000 subscribers. Yes, this is nothing compared to millionaire bloggers, but Hanyu is not a blogger either. Therefore, it is worth comparing with similar channels. For example, ISA currently has 294,000 subscribers, while the Japan Skating Federation has only 5. Federation. He did not lead any social networks, and in general he could be called a reckless. But still, Yuzuru does not change himself. Basically these are working pages and their staff maintains them. One account has more than 300,000 subscribers, the second has 200. Even after the press conference, Hanyu was asked what he plans to do next. 
He mysteriously answered at that time that he did not know yet, but in fact he was already thinking about the ice show. Even more even then he was offered to hold it at the Tokyo Dome Arena, the largest and most prestigious in all of Japan. But he doubted his abilities, because before that there had never been such a show. As a result, for his show prologue, which, by the way, became the first solo ice show in history, Hanyu chose two cities whose names begin with the first letters of his name Hachina, H. Hanyu, and Yokohama, Y. Yuzuru. The right to buy a ticket was played using a lottery, in which at least 280,000 people participated. These are only those who participated in the survey, and the number of cinemas broadcasting the show had to be increased to 100 in order to somehow satisfy the heightened interest. On the final day of the prologue, on December 5th, Hanyu gave a speech about how much people support him, and then launched a video preview of the Tokyo Dome show called Gift. This is Yuzuru's gift to his fans for their support. The maximum capacity of Tokyo Dome is 57,000 people depending on the configuration, and the seating capacity is 42,000. That is, it was the most grandiose size show that has ever been held. For comparison, the largest arenas for world championships under the auspices of the ISU can accommodate 30,000 spectators. The ISU noted the impact of the departure of two-time Olympic figure skating champion Yuzuru Hanyu from the sport. The sports industry is also showing signs of saturation, exacerbated by increased competition from other entertainment formats. Advertising spending is clearly shifting away from TV broadcasters towards social media digital technology and the gaming industry, and there has been an increase in the dominance of large technology companies, which receive the largest share of advertising revenue. Since Japan is the main market for ISU, it should be noted that the above events have unfortunately also accelerated in Japan. In addition, the departure of the most popular Japanese skater from competitive skating has further exacerbated this problem, the report says. The ports on Hanyu's photo exhibition at the opening of the Gucci Gallery. The media notes Hanyu's popularity outside the ice, in new territory for the skater. The event was covered by many TV channels. Translation of the explanatory plaque at the exhibition, designed in Japanese and English, taking into account the breadth of the audience Yuzuru Hanyu. A journey beyond dreams presented by L. Yuzuru Hanyu has been constantly challenging himself ever since he started skating at the age of four. Improving, he reached incredible heights as an athlete and as a person. We are waiting for new shows of the great and legendary Yuzuru Hanyu. Perfetto il quadruplo. Luna triplo axel gigantesco. Triplo flip.